Hi friends, welcome to my channel Lotus Geek. In this tutorial, I will guide you how to fix side by side configuration is incorrect in which the application is failed to restart. Before proceeding, I request you to please click on the subscribe button to continue watching more such tech and how to video. Now let's go ahead and proceed with the resolution. The very first step we are going to do is to check for any corrupted files. So for that, click on your start menu and type here CMD. Run CMD as an admin mode. Here you need to type few commands. First of all is SFC space slash scan now. After that, hit the enter button and let this process be completed. It will take around 15 to 20 minutes depending upon the type of your PC. The second step you need to Enter is DASM space slash online space slash cleanup image space slash restore health. And after that, hit the enter button. I haven't pressed the enter button for the first command because it will take a lot of time, and this command also will take around 10 minutes. So, let this process be completed, and after that, restart your PC and check if the problem is resolved or not. If still the problem persists, we are going to proceed to second step. I'll go ahead and minimize this window. In second step, you need to open your control panel, open a command and type here appwiz.cpl and hit the enter button. In control panel, you need to remove Microsoft Visual C++. These are the three softwares that I installed from Microsoft Visual C++ what you need to do is to right click on each and every one and click on uninstall button once these three programs are uninstalled open Microsoft official website and download Microsoft Visual C++ from here by clicking on the download button I provide this download link in the description below so that you can easily download the latest version of Microsoft Visual C++ once you download it after that kindly install it in your computer and restart your PC and again check for the resolution. If still the problem persists, we are going to proceed to third step. In third step, simultaneously press Windows and R key. In run command, type REG EDIT and hit the enter button. Once the registry editor is open, you need to paste here a command. I will provide this command also in the description below. Simply paste this command and hit the enter button. Now in this command, find 9.0 folder. In this right pane, double click the default. And here in the value data, make sure the value must be from these one of two, which one is higher. In these two options, the higher value is 9.0, this one 9625. So this value must be similar to this one. If it is not, simply change this value to the maximum value. After that, close the registry editor and again restart your PC and check for the resolution. If still the problem persists, we are going to proceed to fourth step. In fourth step, if there is a particular program that is causing this issue, I suggest you to kindly uninstall that particular program and re-download the installer from again from the official website and then install that program again. This one is the fourth step that you need to perform. If all these four steps unable to help you out, we are going to proceed to last step. In last step, open your settings menu. In settings menu, click on update and security. In update and security, click on recovery button. In recovery tab, click on reset this PC get started button. You need to click on the option keep my files and then proceed with the instructions that you are getting in this screen. That's it about it friends. If you like my tutorial, if you like my video, I request you to please click on the subscribe button to continue watching more such tech and how to videos. Don't forget to share my channel with your friends also. Thank you so much.